All right, everybody, welcome back. Another edition live at Drew's house. Hope everybody's doing well. I have special guests already here and ready to go today. Uh, I'll tell you why. You guys remember Sarah? This is my wife, Sarah Conway. Hello. We have her friend Shayla O'Connell here. Hello there, Shayla. Hi. Uh, um, all right, so this is our little special. Everybody kind of consumes this show in different ways, it airs at different times on TV, on the radio, on, you can pull it up on YouTube, whenever. Um, so this is going to air in some places before the marathon, some places during the marathon. You might even watch it after the marathon. But these two outstanding women uh, are going to either be running the marathon or by the time you watch this, have already ran the marathon. So there you go. Congratulations to them. Uh, <laughs> Don't congratulate me yet. Yeah. Shayla's right. a pro. All right, let's start with Shayla. Shayla, you are a pro. You've done the marathon now how many times in Boston? This will be six. Six times. Well, actually, this will be five in the city because last year was virtually. So it wasn't in the city last year, but this will be my sixth Boston marathon. That still counts. Six in the city. Okay, wow. Very exciting. How, uh, were you like torturing yourself or what? I don't know. I'm starting to like ask myself that. I'm like, is this like still going to keep happening? But it's just, it's the best accomplishment for me. I believe I have it on good record that this is going to be your last one. So you say? I say that now. And anybody in my circle would say she says that every year. But who knows? Come April, maybe we'll do it again. All right, so you're not committed <laughs> against it. What's the, um, what is the hardest part for you about running the 26.2? Is there something that you just dread thinking about it right now? Yeah, so I would say, Drew, my first three, I would dread seven through 10, which I feel like we said in our first show. Miles, now, miles seven through miles, 10? Yes, and then now, um, just doing the 21 with Sarah, I would say 17 through, through 21 <laughs> were definitely, um, on the harder side. So I think it's getting, which I don't know, mentally for me, I feel like getting over with the part that I'm like sticky with is better and now like waiting till the end, but who knows, race day is race day and everything could be different. So how we'll do see. you feel about the prospects of uh, one Sarah Conway here? You, you two are coworkers, I should mention. So that's how you know each other, but uh, yeah. she will do all right. We're also friends out of work, um, Drew, so. Yeah, Come we're on. besties. Oh, sorry. Come on. <laughs> How's she gonna do? Unreal. You're not worried? No, not at all. She's I, a less yeah. wicked than I am. <laughs> I mean that from my heart. She is so easygoing that like I don't think anything would bother her. Like I'm like, oh, this is terrible. And she's like, <laughs> like are, you, are you pain? <laughs> Doing the 21 was pretty cool though. Doing yeah. it together. Yeah, explain that to people. So, like, the big final marathon training is, like, what, was that two weeks ago? Two weeks before the marathon? It was it two weeks it's before? Three weeks. Three weeks before the marathon. Three weeks before the marathon, yeah. Is so that the longest training day? So, um, we went into Boston, and we ran Hawkington to, like, the end of Heartbreak Hill, yeah. and to kind of get a feel for the course, and Shayla, you do that every year before you do it, right, Shayla? Yep, usually in March. And it's usually freezing, so it was lovely to do it in a tank top this year in September. It was good. It was really good weather, though, because it wasn't yeah. too hot. It was, like, misting for a while. Yeah. So I do feel like the weather was um, really on point that day for running. But okay. Shayla acts like she um, complains the whole time. She, in reality, waves to every single person go that goes by. And what she was saying was that it's <laughs> And what she was saying about me not getting, um, me not being annoyed by anything, my headphones haven't been, or my phone hasn't been, something is not working, so I unplugged it, but it did not matter because Shayla is saying out loud to me for half of the run, so <laughs> she was in good spirits the whole time. I over at her, we were, I think we were just getting into Natick, and I looked to my left, and there's, obviously on the race day, you can run anywhere in the streets, but on that training day, you have to kind of stick to the sidewalk area. Um, so I, there was a bigger sidewalk area. So she, we got to run parallel to each other. So I looked over at her and she's just like holding everything in her hand. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, my phone, something with my phone. So, right. But it's all right. I'm like, do you hear me singing? She's like, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> it's actually very impressive because singing takes a lot of energy. Yeah. And you're trying to breathe and run and you're singing at the same time. So 
Yep. That's very impressive. When she says you wave to everybody as you go by, is it runners that pass by you or the people on the street? Both. <laughs> I just like to say like, good job, like, yay, go, go. And then we wave to um, every um, town that we enter to. Like entering Ashland, entering um, Framingham, Natick, we just do a little quick wave, like, here we come. <laughs> Shayla is here. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is very funny. Uh, so what is the biggest difference about doing it this time of year here in the fall, Shayla? Because uh, you probably already have a good feel for it with the training and everything. Yeah, I think that the mindset's a little different. I think when it's in, you know, at least I know, the training when it's coming up in February, March, we, I know what I need to be doing. And it's just different now that it's in August, September, like a lot of summer running, which I don't mind. It's just a different mentality than what I'm used to. And I like the routine of knowing what to do. And this time it's kind of like whoop, a little bit different here yeah. and there. But I mean, the weather is going to be nice. I feel like on Marathon Monday, which is awesome. That is cool. it now, but it changes hourly when me and Sarah check it hourly <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we went to one race you did it at like i think a downpour right haven't you done oh. yeah yeah that was 18 that downpour that was like it was like a hurricane or something mm -hmm. yeah it was actually a tsunami yeah yeah tsunami. yeah that wasn't that for sure. insane for sure it was a <laughs> <laughs> wait it's not the big wave boston got hit with a tsunami is that <laughs> yeah. right yeah okay. no, people, there's shirts i i see them all the time you'll probably see one at the expo because a lot of people wear them and it says from that year I swam from Hopkinton to Boylston because it was the weather was out of control. You have one of those shirts? No, but like I'm gonna get one, I think. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still recovering <laughs> darn day. I'm still processing it. It's too soon. <laughs> yes. That's cute for you. I'm glad you've moved past it, but <laughs> I'm still cold. <laughs> Actually, I think that was the year. Didn't we try to wave to her and we missed her? Yeah. Oh, I, no, 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 we didn't go in that year. I remember you uh, had a toe issue. We had to bring you to the hospital. A toe issue? <laughs> you did. Where's my toe yeah. issue? Um, oh. it was, your like, toenail fell off and it was all black and blue. I think it was when you were playing basketball. Oh. Um, so you trying to be like the runners and lose a toenail. Yeah. Like, yeah that, does that, that, happen, does that happen? happen? Mm -hmm. Really? All right, tell me some of that bad stuff. What's the pain that comes along with doing these? Oh, my God. Don't get too graphic. Um, well, I've lost all of mine. They say once you lose them, you're prone to do it again. The toenails. Correct. Ooh. So it's just the um, water and the blister that like builds up underneath, mm. like never fully, I guess, allows it to grow back the same. Mm. So. So you're looking forward to that one, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, it's the dog. Yeah. Have an episode without them. He didn't, Never. Like, he didn't like the idea of pain. No, me either. You know, Mookie's been running with Sarah for the training. I know. I literally love all her pictures and stuff with him in them. It's so cool. He makes oh. pictures better. 100%. He's been doing some of it. He's done some long runs, but only when it's, like, cool enough. What's the, yeah. longest, uh, what's the longest run with the dog? Uh, he did... He did like 16 miles. I, I think that was 14. the longest one. Yeah. But it was, like, a cooler day. It's actually raining that day too. It was a good day for it. Um, but so much was during the summer that he couldn't really do a lot of it. Right. For dogs in the summer, they can't really mm. run like that. Did you say you could have done more than the 16? Yeah, I think he could have. I think yeah. if the weather was right, he could do a full marathon. Wow. That's yeah, he was incredible. ready to keep going. There is. He's ready to run right now. I can see him at the door. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> It's these kids on bicycles. Um, so what's your, so Sarah's a first timer, Shayla. So what's in, in general though, all first timers, what's the, what's the number one thing you tell uh, the first time runner that they're probably not going to expect that's going to hit them when they're out there? Good advice. I, my first marathon, I'm so glad I had ran with a girl from Winthrop, Amanda, one of my friends, and she was smiling. I told Sarah on 21 at all these cameras and I'm like, what are these, what, what, what's going on? Like, I have no idea what's going on. Little did I know that there is Marathon Photo is a company that sends you like a lump sum bulk of your photos. And they are some of the most amazing, like you can't have people at every step of the course, mm -hmm. but there are photographers 
all along the course. So you could show people, this is the, that's one thing I wish I could show my family, show my friends. Oh, this is what was here. This is what's here. And they send you everything of you. So the next year I knew that there was photographer there. I'm like, <laughs> 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 now, now they just have you waving to everybody literally but like it's such something i mean that's obviously not about like the physical body and stuff but that is so special for memories to have that forever i mean once you're a marathoner you're a marathoner so you can say here's my photo album and let's take a look at it that's all you want to do Sarah, what's been your biggest question for shayla i'm sure you've been picking her brain a little bit. oh i asked her like 10 questions a day text in person, like what? like what? Um, just everything. A lot of the logistical stuff. Um, yeah. you know, like there's a lot that's a little bit different this year because of the pandemic and everything, and it's their first time back in person. Um, so we've been trying to get through all that stuff together. Yes. Um, but then just a lot of the training stuff and you know, questions about the long runs, how much do you drink, what do you eat, like all the, you know, all those things, because you want to be the best prepared that you can. Mm -hmm. And How much do you drink, Sheila? Do you, are you drinking water every chance you can, or? I don't. She, Sarah asked me that, too, and it's, like I said, just me, like my personal preference. I start really taking in water close to halfway there. Like, I will drink prior, and then I will kind of just go until, unless I really feel like I need it. But if I don't, once I start drinking, I feel like it kind of just like sits in my stomach, if you will, and then it weighs me down. So I would just kind of take a quick sip of Gatorade, quick sip of water. I told Sarah, if it's hot, like I dump the rest on my head. A lot of people do on their body, cool down your scalp, and then just keep going from there. But hmm. definitely if I can, 13 on is when I will continue to like hydrate. And this is a fall day. Like, is there a chance you start with like a... Uh... I don't know, like a windbreaker and then just throw it to somebody in the crowd? Like, but You know what, Drew? I made that, that's a wicked good question because I don't think we talked about that last time. I made that mistake last time, last April that was in person. I wore a black Under Armour because I woke up and it was raining and I put my slinglet on over it. And I want to say it was mile 12. I pulled over to the side. There was a random couple cheering. I said, can you hold this? I took off my fanny pack. I took off my slinglet. I took off the long sleeve, threw it, which I regret because I loved it, but I didn't want it to have it on my body. I didn't want it to weigh my body down running. And then I put back on my tank top. So I think tank top is the way to go unless the weather says 30 degrees. Which Literally. Is, which I don't think it's going to do that. So yeah. good advice. You got your uh, bib and everything the other day. That's always a cool moment, right? I didn't get the bib yet. I got my singlet. Is that what you call it, Shayla? Yeah. Singlet. What's the yeah. diff? What's the difference? That's like the shirt, the oh. tank, like yeah. who you're running for and stuff on it. Okay. Yeah. So that okay. So that's a that's a cool moment that when you just get all the stuff, isn't it, Shayla? Yeah, and when you have to, I can't wait for Sarah to experience going into the expo. It's definitely one of the most like magical parts of the weekend. It's so fun to see all different types of people with that you have to get your number in person. They give it to you, then you can make pictures with it. There's all marathon posters everywhere. You can things to take pictures with. And then like gear. Adidas has a shop. There's all different shops with like marathon gear that you wanna obviously get and then continue to wear afterwards. So, it must be like the most happy crowd in the world or, oh, maybe, God, yeah. is that, or maybe there's a little bit of stress underlying too but I mean I can imagine all these people are like yes after today no more marathon training yeah literally literally you just go for me that's kind of like the end and then you rest until we go I took the day off after the marathon to you know recover with Sarah that's very selfless <laughs> could, you, could you tell that to, um Anybody else that should take the day off to recover with me? I was very honest with my crew. Yeah, right. We can't, we can't take Marathon Monday off. So, I, you know, I work early and I said, I can't take Marathon Monday, but I'm going to take Marathon Tuesday. Drew's going to really celebrate for me. So we should. I might, I might want to go back to bed, but he's going to Probably. Celebrate. Is that yeah. what she's going to do? Are, is there, what, is, what, is the, what is the reaction after the first marathon? Did you party hard or did you go to bed? So my first one, I went to bed and then I regretted that every marathon afterwards. So I told myself, no matter what, you bring a bag, you have someone bring a bag for you, you change 
out of what you have into something lighter and you go to dinner, you get a couple drinks, you do, you celebrate what you just did. And then when that couple hours is over, then you can go home because it's the best time. Truly. That's why I took the day. This is right. We have, we, <laughs> yeah. have, we have things to do. <laughs> right. You know, several of, several of my guys I just learned are actually coming in to, to see you. Uh, yeah, you got, we're going to need like several different bars to host the amount of people that want to uh, support That's you. That's so cool. Where are you going to go, Drew? I don't know. You know, my sister goes in every year. I used to kind of almost every year, but my sister like religiously every year is at the uh, finish line. Nice. And she said one of the place she always goes to was actually a pandemic closure. I'm not sure which one that was. But um, the poor house or something. The poor like house. That. They, there yeah. are a couple of them that have closed down permanently. Yeah, so I don't know which one she's going to go to this year, but I was thinking about maybe following her lead a little bit. Yeah. She gets in there all early, you know? Yeah. So, but I don't know. We'll yeah. see. Somewhere near the finish line. Yeah. 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 More incentive for you to finish. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make it there. <laughs> how many people do you all know, Sheila? How many people do you know, do you know that are running? Um, Sarah, Kevin, Bianca's husband is running. Um, All in the uh, New England. I know school. another um, girl from Saugus is running um, for Children's Hospital for her daughter, which is super cool, I feel like. Um, and that's really it. I don't really know of a lot of people that are running this year because they're also having it virtually. You have the choice to run it virtually or run it in person. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's is it going to be, uh, I mean, I'm sure you never forget running through those corridors and the, not corridors, but the, what do you call those? The, the sound tunnels. Uh, yeah. You never, you never forget that moment, I know, but it, you had to do it virtually with much smaller sound tunnels last year. How, many, how much did you miss having that uh, extra push from the crowd? Oh my gosh, Drew, more than anything. And I think it's amazing that I got to see, like we got to see our family and friends the whole way which is something that probably will never happen again because they were following us mile after mile um in a car in a car yep <laughs> <laughs> um which was super cool but it, it's nothing like the real thing so i would take as much as i loved that and i'm glad i can say that we got to do that once i would take the real thing is it, is it legit like does it because i'm sure you two you mean even doing 21 miles the other day there's probably moments where you're like yeah i'm just not sure i got this in me today um <laughs> but do you do you, yes would you like to ex expound on a few of those moments no 100 percent, 100 percent. but you know what we were saying um sarah and i were talking about when we finished it's so um comforting to see like everyone in those towns that you run through knows that when you're running on that third Saturday of before the marathon, what you're doing. And everyone is so respectful of us running. Like people will reverse, people will stop. And it's something I just feel like you wouldn't see around here because we're not on the course. But I think that the amount of respect that civilians have throughout the towns that we go through is just amazing. I don't think I ever realized until, you know, since you're involved with it now, Sarah, I don't think I ever realized how like, it's set up that is there's volunteers out there with water for you oh, yeah it's like a legit pre-marathon walkthrough almost literally it's so cool and i was telling sarah when we were running in kevin that there's so many like in um right you're only in hopkinton for like a short amount of time and then you're into ashland and then they have like bands out on there's bars with people that take their instruments out onto the lawn and are playing as you run by. It's like stuff you can't explain unless you see it when you come by and you're like, wow, that's amazing. Such a cool thing to see. Somebody like you, I can imagine being like uh, distracted until like my- Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, I was crying. The year that they had, it was definitely the tsunami year. They had the little golden retriever with the two Boston Strong flags in his mouth in a poncho. Mm. Oh, standing there, he was like this. Good looking dog. <laughs> Oh, tears coming down my face. <laughs> Who's a good, like, oh, good boy? <laughs> Girl, I don't know what you are, but still. What's your biggest uh, first time uh, fear? What do you? What do you? Uh, what's been the toughest thing training wise for you, Sarah? Um, well, the training you don't ever run twenty six miles, so I think it's a confidence thing. I've never ever run twenty six miles, and now I'm just expected to do it the day of. So there's like legit a little doubt, like I don't know. Yeah. Until you do it, you don't know if you have those extra five miles in you. 
Yeah, and I started my training a little bit early, so I told, I kept telling Shayla, I'm going to do the 26, I'm going to do the 26, and then I'm going to go back down. And she was like, don't do it. <laughs> Follow the training. And that's what I ended up doing. And I feel, I feel okay about it. I think it'll be good. The 21 miles, I think, really did prepare on the route, really prepare yeah. you. Yeah. For what it's going to be like. And Shayla was there narrating the whole thing. So she would tell us, this is the Scream Tunnel. This is Framingham College. These are the college kids who, who are going to be cheering you on here. So, like, what to expect in each place. And it kind of just hypes you up for what it's going to be like that day. No kissing this year, right? They, they said no. The, who, who does the kissing? Kiss any year, Drew. No one should ever do that. No one should ever stop me. <laughs> what is that love a kiss? Where is that again? Is that the college? It's lovely. It's well, lovely. lovely. Yeah, lovely. they're insane. I remember one of the, um, when I ran for Children's Hospital, they had team meetings and stuff, and they said, do not let the scream tunnel take you on this high because you're going to come down. You have another half a marathon to go. So just be like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and keep going, like stay focused because it's like the amount of women that are out there screaming, hanging over this fence is amazing. It really mm -hmm. does lift you. You can feel oh, it. Oh, sure. Huh. That's interesting. What's the, let's talk Heartbreak Hill because you, I, you have told me that Heartbreak Hill is, uh, and I think I, everybody pretty much says this who runs, but uh, it's not so much the hill itself, it's where on the track it is, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so Shayla would know this better, but to, but I've only done it that that one time after yeah. 18 miles, and it was like up, and the, it, it's not a consistent hill, but it lasts for like three miles. That's up it. Up and down? Uh, not down, but like up, and then it plateaus, and then it goes up, and then it's like never ending. I wouldn't change a thing she just said, exactly what she just said is what I would say. It's cool. never ending, it feels like. What mile was it on? 17 it starts. 17? 17. 17. So strategically placed at mile 17? <laughs> Either way, it's a, you're not feeling your best <laughs> when you get there. Is there a part, are there parts of the course, like, cause I, you know, people that tend to do the marathon pick their spots and tend to go back to them or similar locations. Are there spots on the marathon where like it is a little bit dead or as far as crowd support or not really? Like, far and few in between. Not, like, it's not, it will be for a couple seconds, and then there will be somebody else. It's pretty jam-packed, especially where I feel like we haven't had one in a while. I mean, it's almost, not. I think it's 900 days. I, they keep posting it, how many days it's been since the last marathon, and I feel like people are ready to kind of be back at it. I would think. Oh. Do, what, how are they doing? Like, do you have to do any extra... COVID stuff, or do you have to show, what's the, what do you have to do? We have to show, we have to get a bracelet, so you have to show your vaccine card, or a, um, that you've been tested, mm -hmm. and you've been negative, and then, we're eager to see what the bracelet's like, because we don't know. What did you say? We're eager to see what, like, the, like, we have to show it, and then we get a bracelet that we have to keep on us, oh. like Sarah and I were talking about, we were like, like medical bracelet, like, you know, when you go to the hospital and they give you like a medical, like, how does it, like a live strong bracelet? I don't know. Hmm. But we have to keep it on the entire time, the entire weekend. It's funny. So you don't want any, I mean, you're doing 26 miles. You don't, you want to know exactly what you have to wear. Right. Show me what, show me what's going on with me. <laughs> no surprises yeah, here, please. <laughs> yes. Interesting. All right. Again, we're joined here by my wife, Sarah Conway, Shayla O'Connell. They're both uh, doing the Boston Marathon. Again, some of you may be consuming the show post-marathon Monday, so I'll give you the follow-up and just let you know that they, <laughs> that they did it. Yes, don't ask us to come on. <laughs> it would be a strange follow-up if, uh, if there was a point. <laughs> they both stopped at mile three. Hello. <laughs> Three. Just kidding. They thought a 5K was solid. Yeah, yeah, coffee mug time. That's good. Oh. I got the Beatles mug. Cheers. Uh, we, can, we still need new mugs. These are the same mugs we Yeah. We Mine's the same too. Same okay. mug. You know, it's oh, funny yeah. because uh, I kind of stopped the coffee mug thing since Sarah stopped coming on the show. Really? Wow. Oh. It kind of brings Listen. us together. It's like a, a social gesture. It brings us in. She got too big for the show. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to say that to her today. She's like, I'm never on it. I go, you were on it all the time. I loved watching you. Yeah. It's been a while. No, you know what? We've been, we've been busy. Now she just runs all around the neighborhood. Just running around. There's only so much daylight to go around. So oh, okay. get out there while it's still light. <laughs> <laughs> I did have some nighttime runs, but they scare me. I'm no, you're too 
Yeah. And it's hot today. When I was running today, I was like, oh my, wow, it's, it's warm. Mm, yeah. All right, all right. Here's my final one on the marathon. I put me in the um, Monday morning. Uh, what is the routine? What's the routine from the night before? Uh, Shayla, you first. What's what's your plan here? Bedtime, rise, rise time. Okay, I will try to go to, into my bed by eight. Um, I won't fall asleep then because I'll be nervous. I'll get up around five thirty, and I will turn on the news because I like to see like the broadcasting from Hopkinton. Um, stretch eat, hydrate, and then go. We go to the Boston Commons and we get on a bus and they bus us to Hopkington. Okay, how about you? I don't know what my routine <laughs> <laughs> I have to figure it out, I guess, but I know. You can do that too. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. You'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> that same thing. Am I driving? Oh, yes. Yeah. gonna be working in the morning? That's right, oh. I'm not driving you. I don't, I don't have a plan yet, so. Okay, we're gonna get our plan. I will make it there. <laughs> we thought of everything except for this. <laughs> like my, well, people have offered, my parents have offered to drive. My um, sister's boyfriend is running too, and yeah. he's driving from right around the corner. So I just haven't figured out exactly what I wanna do yet. But yep. I will make it there. Hmm. Well, any other questions for Shayla? I feel like I should just let you guys kind of hash this out. I try I to stay out of the way. I really asked her so many questions. I don't think I have any more room in my brain for questions or information. Mm. It's good hosting so. out of you. <laughs> I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> do you have? Oh, this is. A, I hate it when people ask this question, but it's the only thing that popped into my head. Do you have like a certain time or anything that you want for this one or you want to just go in and enjoy it? Um, both. <laughs> yeah, both options. Um, I would love to cut my time down, but it's at this rate, it's just a gift to do it. So let's just do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, that's that's the time. Pretty incredible, Shayla. Yeah. Amazing. We'll just do it. And I'm proud of you too. Nice After going. After doing all this training, even more impressed nice that going. you're going back. This slam, Boom. Yeah, we're in it. <laughs> Great work, you two. Proud of you. Thanks, give, Drew. Give them heck on Monday. Yep, we will. I'll be there clapping. I know. I want to know where you where you go, so you got to let me know so I can look out for you. I'm about as much of a plan as Sarah does at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, but she has like two more days with me, so she will have a she will have a plan. I'll uh, yeah, I right. will have a plan. Well, very good. Uh, if you see any celebrities out there, I heard there's some celebrities. I did too. I actually saw it online that there's um, it was like keep an eye out for um, local celebrities running the marathon. I was like, oh, cool. Patriots, Patriots player. Um, who else was it? I heard uh, Danica Patrick. Yes, that was her. Yep, futures female. So it's female. That'd be kind of funny, huh? If you're like running next to Danica Patrick. I know. She's like, who's this woman waving at me? Right. And then so many years too, like I remember one year, um, Zach Efron was there with his brother and like they posted it afterwards. And I was like, well, I get the strategy of like not telling everyone you're running so that they're looking for you. But like, I wanted to know. <laughs> I would have kept an eye out. <laughs> you didn't see Zach Efron? No, but he was right there at the finish line. I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. A lot of people. The Wahlbergs run a lot. The marathon. I'm trying to think of who else. So cool though. Let's end with this one. What's your favorite part of the day? The finish. I bet. One and then seeing everyone, like when you see, I can't even talk about it because I'll get emotional. But I see like Gina and my family, I like lose it. I have to like remind myself to finish because it is just like my Achilles heel. I'm like, <laughs> go, keep going. <laughs> but it's fun when you're crying. Oh, yeah. And then I can breathe. <laughs> All right. We'll save the tears till the end. Yes. But very good. Good luck, you two. You've been great as always. Thank you, Drew. Nice to have you back in the co host chair, Sarah. Um, All anyway. right. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Me too, Sarah. So proud of you. Thanks, Drew uh, and Shayla. All right. Shayla's been my inspiration in running this. I don't know if you remember it, but the last time Shayla was, I was on. Kinda, I was like naturally wrapping up the show there. I mean, oh, but I just <laughs> wanted to remind you that I said I would never run a marathon on the yeah. last time we were on here and here we are <laughs> see that's how it happens Sarah. i'll never run again oh yeah that's no. how it happens <laughs>
and we'll see you next year when you do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds seven. Seven's a good number, I think. Yeah. Seven is a nice number. I love seven. Eight is my favorite. Eight's good too. I like even. So you're talking double digits. I know. Imagine saying ten. That that'd be sick. Just. Sick is a good word for it. All right. <laughs> All right Let's everybody. just get past this one. <laughs> a good luck Monday, you two. You've been great. We appreciate you. Happy Thanks, Marathon man. Monday in the fall this year. Bye-bye.